Today I did another little winter clinic. Um, we used one of my borders for us. Uh, I tied her with, to the fence with a clip and taught her to give the pressure. But mostly we work with my horses. Um, there's three of them there and I didn't have enough uh, magic wands to pass around or bubble wrap so they didn't work with the other horse. But we worked with each other in teams teaching uh, to back a horse up from a distance and then we worked with my three horses. And then um, I used one of the boarders so horse. usually when you just, when she see this come, it'll start pulling back. But anyways, this is I just her. Yeah. And you can get, you can get your arm ripped out of your socket. If you hang on here, you know. But you also gotta, so what I did break it down for her. Smart. We did a little dance Such improvement. Loose line here, and then footage from a week ago. Ready when you are. I'm ready, rolling. So we're gonna give her some applesauce. This horse likes to rear. Um, so if she feels any pressure on the halter, she needs to get fixed a bit. So the yeah, owner has had her for a couple of years and hasn't been able to do this. So some people might get upset that I correct, but obviously doing nothing or releasing when she pulls back um, has taught her all kinds of evasions, primarily go up. So I have to be careful. Uh, I haven't worked with her a lot. Just a few short sessions. Besides when I initially met her, I had a two hour session, but since she's been at my farm, I really haven't touched her. So by making them yield and turn to the right and not shoot out ahead, that changes. Um, that changes a lot. Remember, whoever moves the other one's feet is in charge. And being patient. I have the clip from Smart Tie attached to my round pen, which is anchored right in front of the horse. You can see the uh, boards there, and it's anchored in the ground. It's not going anywhere. So you would never tie to um, a light round pen or round pen panels like it that's in the background because the horse could pull them down. And some people freak out, oh my gosh, there's a rope on her legs, who cares? Get used to it. Horses have to deal with that. She's been loose, um, breaking away from her owner, many times dragging a, a long rope. So believe me, she's used to it. She was a rescue. Again, I don't want to blow her doors off. I just want to so 
horses will uh, be cross-tied. Um, she cross-ties this horse. I have the clips in my barn so she doesn't get into trouble. But a horse really should not be cross-tied until they can single-tie and not pull back. This horse, when I first got him, uh, four months here, he's probably four and a half months, and I'm just showing um, that he is not going to rear up and not give to pressure. So, just showing I'm not asking anything extraordinary. And he stood tight today. He got a little bored at parts because I didn't give him a hay bag, but they have to learn to stand tied with one and without one. So we did a little everything today. Show a little bit of end of the fly spray with the same horse that I work with. That was a problem. Coming right up. This horse is never been able to be fly spray. So I can't remember if I worked with her with this or the hose. I think it was the hose. Um, but she's never that good. And just freak out. Never want to restrain your horse. Put him in the cross ties to do something like that. I'm gonna stay with her. I'm not spraying yet. Now I'm gonna you don't want to grip him up tight on your face because that just puts panic in. Not spraying. I demonstrated that at the clinic right before I started spraying. Her head went up in the air. Now I'm gonna spray her. Well, I just sprayed it and she will sit there. So they can hold on to that negative memory from years back. Their memory is it's crazy. Yeah. Um, good. Yeah, that take, was really good. Can it just take one bad experience? Yeah. I have a story with that one there. Yeah. So doing the versatility stuff. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so lastly, we worked on stand to be mounted. Also her I'm showing the tail end of it. Probably worked it for 10 oh. minutes. Even though I've never been on this horse. Because I don't get on rearing horses until we fix the problem. So you think this looks so hard to get them to do? And she needs to be ground driven and pressed. <laughs> like to go through a puddle or to haul the back up. Yeah, right here I'm gonna get down off this block leader. I'll drive the lines before I would get on her. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I don't think I don't get down. Thanks for watching. Line.